What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to catch a bass during spawn season, all right? I came by early today to this spot. The bass was locked on bed. Uh, we have had warm weather. It hasn't been too cold at night. It's been like say between 40 degrees and mid 50s. That's what you want. And you want the high in the days to be like between 66 to 72 degrees. And the bass will lock on bed. It's the latest day, um, I think the last week of March just about. And so this is the time I love to catch them and they're all done at least at this spot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to catch them on bed, what lure to use. And then after that, um, I think I'll end this video, but just in case, I may try to get two bass on just to show you it really works. But anyway, I'm going to get started and uh, let's see what we can catch. All right guys, so we got some bass locked on bed. I don't know if you can see them right here. But uh, this is where they're at. They're in this little spot. They're not gonna be in the shallows. They'll be about six or seven feet from the bank. I said, so they're in this little ring. I, know, I said, I hope you can see it in the video. I don't know if you can. I know you can see the parents swimming around a little bit, but there's two bass hanging around. All right, so I'm gonna try to throw the lure in there. Um, and then uh, try to see if we can get them off of there. All right, guys, so I said, this is the lure we're gonna use. Let me sure I get the camera right. This is the lure we're gonna use. This is a chartreuse lizard, pumpkin seed lizard. It's like a lime green color. We're gonna throw this out there. This right here is magic. It's gonna catch a bass every time if they're on bed. I haven't uh, had any bad luck with this. So we're gonna cast out here in this spot. Hopefully I can get this on camera. I'm gonna go, I found the bed, I found a sweet spot because I saw Brim eating the eggs. So we're gonna throw it back behind where the nest is and slowly ease it into the nest. So and the water is clear enough to where I can see it. So it's pretty much by sight. Alright, so I'm getting close to it now. I'm outside the nest. So I'm hoping you can see it. Let me move a little bit closer this way. Go down just a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm in the nest now. There's a brim in here. I'm trying to get in here. All right, so I'm doing this ticking line and twitching it with my hand. Like that. Sometimes that works. Sometimes you pop it or so on. Like I said, I'm gonna, leave it, I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. And leave it there in the nest. Well, I'm out of it now. I had to go back. So, all right, so I'm, I just recast back out there. And sometimes it can take more than one cast. All right, I'm outside the nest now. Just gonna twitch it a little bit. The, the bass decide if they wanna get it or not. So it's so windy, you can't really see the water that much. I mean, you see the bottom that much of the water, excuse me. See, something just nibbled at it then, but I think that was the brim nibbled at it. Yeah, so these, these brim are all up in this bass's nest, and these bass are gonna get it soon. See, I don't know if somebody already caught this bass too. That's one thing, if somebody already caught this bass, it's not gonna wanna um, pull, it's gonna be kinda skittish and kinda back off. Normally this doesn't take that many tries, but like I said, I saw some earlier chasing the brim off and the brim are all up in the nest now, so I don't know if they got to the eggs or not. No slow reeling this. All right, the bass season now. All right, so I got it there, and it's in the uh, it's in the nest now. So we're just gonna wait for the bass to come up. 
because sometimes you just gotta let it sit there too. So, so you just try a different strategy. So I said the bats right now are kind of off a little bit. I'm trying to decide if they really were actually locked on or if they, if they laid the eggs or if they just were just defending the nest area so they could lay the eggs. But I said it's definitely two bass that were spawning. But I'm also wearing a black dark color. I don't even have on blue to resemble the sky, so they can see me, which you don't want to do. So I'm wearing black today. I normally don't do that. So I normally wear blues and that normally works. Yeah, they're not coming back to this nest right now. They were locked on. If they don't come back, I'm sure I'm just gonna assume they're not locked on dead yet. And I'm gonna come back and uh, Go to go to a different spot. Because they're back there just watching, like they're not. Yeah, they're not coming back to it for whatever reason. Yeah, so the fact they aren't chasing his brim off right now is interesting because they normally chase those off because I saw them chase it off earlier. See if there's another spot where they're bedding at. There is another bass right here by this tree. I don't know if it's spawning or not, but we're about to find out. We're about to see. Now it kept on swimming by. That's why I thought it's spawning right here. All right, so what's gone is, like I said, they're, uh, they are spawning, but they haven't locked on bed yet. So this one right here, this bass I just saw, I just threw at, it's, uh, it's sitting right there. It's looking for places to spawn. So, and we say there's threats or something nearby, they're not gonna want to go there. So let's search for a spot that actually has one locked on. We'll go from there, like I said, because I guess the weather's changing, the wind's picking up, and I'm just getting over um, being sick. Uh, my voice is gone for three days. So, I don't really want to get back sicker with all this pollen. I got a mask on right now. Uh, that's, probably, that's probably took a minute from me making a video fishing because I have been under the weather. Also, I've been working as well more than I have been. So, all my off days are are right, gone. So let me see, let me see, let me see. See, this place has changed too over the years. See, there used to be bass spawning like right in these little pockets. But I don't see them, but the brim will look like really active, which is good. So come back and get some, back and brim fish. Now let's go to this other side and see if we can catch some. All right, guys, we're at a different spot. I found a hole where a bass is. I don't know if it's on bed or not, but like I said, I picked the wrong color where they know we're gonna wear blue or some or greens to resemble a tree or brown, something that resembles nature. It's the sky or the trees. I didn't either today. I picked black, ladies and gentlemen. So um, yeah, so the fish can see me. They're a little spooked. Um, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if this bass will get it this time. I put it right in the hole where it was. Oh, it sees it. Here it goes, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's just looking at it though. It's not again, I don't know if this, this bass is on bed or not. So then I'm gonna go back, cast it again. I'm gonna drop it right on top of it. Sometimes you just gotta take it off. They're not gonna bite it the first time. You just gotta take a couple of casts. That's the way sponge fishing works. I'm using the same lure as before. There I go. Uh, hold on one second, great.
All right. Uh, anyway, you guys, you hear me talking. This is my, my buddy. Uh, I fixed you last time. He's on a video, Craig. So that's what I'm talking to. All right. Uh, who are you saying, Craig? Oh, not sure. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw that bite. I got one bite out of this bass. I'm gonna try to get uh, another one. All right, so that's what this bass is on bed. What it's doing is it's hanging out in this little pocket. It's guarding its eggs. It's found a little weed bed, but it's got a little bit of a hard bottom. And what happens, I said, I, so sometimes I say you gotta tick it off. So I drop the bait right on top of it. The bass is highly ticked off now. It's like I said, it was, cause what they do is they'll nip at it first. It's like a warning. It's like, hey, get out my bed. I'm not playing with you right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They'll nip at you. They'll nip at you. So you got to keep throwing it back out there. And say probably two more casts will get it. This hook just came out the first time. So I think that's what scared it or ticked it off. I guess it thought it got finned from a small fish. And the fish do fin each other, just so you know. <laughs> Especially when they're trying to get swallowed by another bass. So. All right, we got it. It, it just picked it up and it spat it out. Uh, this is going to be cool. And Craig, uh, man, you, dude, you're gonna love this, bro. If I get this on video, you're gonna love it. And for everybody, uh, that's listening to this conversation while I'm doing this. And, oh, God dang it. It got it. It picked it up and put it in his mouth and I jerked it out too early. It, it got it. All right, so guys, it is it is angry now. <laughs> it is angry. It thinks I'm a threat. This uh, that this charges was a threat. So I'm in his bed and then also I'm taking it off because I'm, I'm trying to move it out the way like I'm trying to get to his eggs. So I'm fighting really aggressive. So we're gonna try this again. All right, let's see if it turns down a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna drop it right back on top of it. I gotta do it quick because their memory is like short. It got it. Oh, it got it again. Sped it out. It's getting. Yeah, it's getting highly annoyed, y'all. It's getting highly annoyed. It just is doing a big circle back, like the shark is, is coming back around to where it was. All right, it's coming back to his bed. It's waiting on me to come back because he knows I'm coming. You got it again. What you gonna do this time, big fella? It got, oh, it swallowed it. It got it. Got it. It's on the hook. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out, big fella. Oh. Yes, sir. I got it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it. So, like I said before earlier, you want this charge shoot lizard. Sometimes you just got to tick it off a little bit. That didn't take but four minutes. I said, it's probably like a, probably like two and a half pound. I'm gonna wait in a second, but that's what it looks like. Uh, hey, Craig, let me call back. I'm gonna take a picture so I can send it to you. Okay, right back. All right, so, all right, I'm taking this picture for my friend real quick, guys, on my phone. I'm trying to hold it. There we go. Do a selfie mode with it. Hold on a second. Do the math. There we go. All right, second bass of the year. Okay. So let me weigh this for you guys. Just give me one second. I'm gonna take this this bag off. As long as it hurts, try to hurry up and get this back into um, the water as quick as possible. Where is the scale? Hold on, let me see this fish. Okay, one second. Oh, here it is, okay. There's too much stuff in there. Got the scale. Got it down. Okay. So this is just about 1 point, 1.2 pound bass, according to the scale. If I'm looking at it right, hold on, let me see. No, I'm sorry, that's not right, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the bottom number, that's the thing, I'm sorry. So this is 3.1 pound bass, that's the five. All right, so this is three, I'm sorry, let me get the way you can see it. So it's, so it's one, two, so the three knots, so one, two, three, so 3.1 pound bass here right there so you guys won't think i'm lying so 3.1 pound bass 
right, we're gonna get this pass back in the water. But anyway, this is how you catch them while they're spawning. Just like that. I'm gonna put this, put this uh, back in the water. All right. I'm gonna hold it for a second. And it's off, all right? It's gonna go around and come back. I'm gonna rinse my hands off, cause I just get, I wanna get smell all fishy for later. But anyway, that's it guys. It's pretty much how you catch them during a spawn. That bass is gonna come back around in a little bit, get back on his bed. This guy right now is gonna go around the cover and try to get unspooked. Uh, so it's gonna be really hard for anybody to catch that twice. Cause now it's gonna be like uh, kinda, you know, uh, on edge about anything that comes over there, any lure. So now it's gonna be a little skittish, which I think is what happened earlier with the bass we were trying to catch. Somebody probably already caught it. But look, I found this in the weed beds hanging out like that. So, anyway, so guy, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so far. Um, if I find anything else, I'll probably try to film it. And then the bass just came back like it didn't happen. It's back in his net bed. No fish came to the eggs. So I'm gonna leave it be. It came right back. So we're gonna leave that alone and uh, we will continue on. All right guys, so well, I think I'm gonna include that video uh, there today. So I just wanna do a quick video to show you how to catch uh, bass while they're on spawn. Anyway, if you like today's video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.